Hello, and welcome to the Building with AppSheet series, where I discuss building apps with AppSheet and Google technologies. I'm Christian Schalk, a Google developer advocate, and in this episode, we'll show how to use Cloud SQL in AppSheet. Let's get started. What is Cloud SQL? Google Cloud SQL is a fully managed relational database service in the cloud. Cloud SQL offers the leading database engines, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. It also features automated provisioning, backups, replication, encryption, as well as 99.95% .95 availability. In addition to high reliability, Cloud SQL is also fully secure and standards compliant. As expected, it comes with tight integration with Google Cloud and Workspace services, as well as support for all standard connectors and drivers. Accessing Cloud SQL is done via the Cloud Console UI for full admin access and control of Cloud SQL instances, a Cloud Shell terminal for command line SQL access, and database connectors including JDBC, ODBC, and so on for the three supported database engines. The MySQL database engine is also compatible with the third-party MySQL Workbench tool. AppSheet can access Cloud SQL with its own connector feature, which provides full read-write access to Cloud SQL database tables and views. To prepare Cloud SQL for use with AppSheet, you'll do the following. One, create or locate a MySQL 5.7 instance, ensure that its public IP address is set, then add authorized networks for AppSheet. This will allow AppSheet to connect to your instance. The AppSheet IP addresses are posted on the AppSheet site, and the link will also be provided in this presentation. Two, create or locate a database user account. Use the allow any host option when creating a new account. Three, create or locate a database on your Cloud SQL instance. When creating, accept the default UTF-8 character set. Here's a demo of how to set up Cloud SQL for use with AppSheet. Okay, so we're here in the Google Cloud Platform console and I'm looking at the uh, SQL instances page here. And uh, you can see that I have two instances here, but if I was starting from scratch, I would actually click on the Create Instance button and I would select the MySQL database engine and then here's where I can specify the instance ID and password. I would also make sure to select the MySQL 5.7 version. And then everything else can be default. So instead of creating one now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And let's jump into this existing instance that I've created before. So here's the overview page. As you can see, the usage is reported here at the top. But most importantly, you have my public IP address that's set for this particular instance. Um, in order though for it to actually work with AppSheet, I would need to set up the authorized networks. And so I've actually done that. I've actually set up all the different IP addresses that AppSheet provides to connect to third-party services. So as you can see here, there is actually a uh, published page here, which provides all of the IP addresses that uh, AppSheet has. So I've gone through and added each one of these as authorized networks to connect to my Cloud SQL instance. After that, I went in and I created a new user account for AppSheet. Um, but typically you could just click add new user account and set the username and accept all of the defaults. And then also more importantly, I would need to create a database. So I have an existing database ready to go, but I could cr also create one from scratch. So I specify the database name and I can accept the remaining uh, defaults. All right. And so let's go back over to the overview page there. And uh, as I mentioned before, there is this uh, cloud shell that I can use to connect to the actual SQL command line. So here we go, we have our shell that's opening up. And this uh, usually takes a, a minute or two to get set up. Okay, so now uh, all I have to do is provide the password and that we're in. So now we can use just good old fashioned SQL. So I just need to specify what my uh, database that I've set up. There we go. And then now we can say show tables and I've actually set up some tables prior to the demo here. So I have two tables. I have employees and projects and this is a classical uh, master detail relationship between employees and projects. That means for each employee there are a number of projects. So let's take a look at one of the tables here. And there we go. You can see that I actually have data uh, in this table here. All right. Incidentally, as I mentioned before, there is a MySQL Workbench tool that if I want to uh, make a connection to and manage my database, I can easily do that. So I've done that for this particular database. And as you can see, I have my two tables 
and I can even query some of the data from it. Uh, there you go. So I can see the same data as before. So as you can see, it's relatively straightforward to set up a Cloud SQL instance to be connected from AppSheet. When Cloud SQL is configured for AppSheet, you can then set up AppSheet to connect to your Cloud SQL instance. In AppSheet's My Account page, click New Data Source. Name the new data source whatever you like and select Cloud Database as the data source type. Then select MySQL as the database type and set the following. The server, which is the public IP address of your instance, the database name, the username and password. Also set the SSL mode to required. Once all the values are entered, click Test and then click Authorize Access. Here's the demo of how to set up AppSheet to use Cloud SQL. Okay, to uh, set up AppSheet to use Cloud SQL, I go to the My Account page and I would click on New Data Source. And here's where I can specify the name and I would also select the uh, Cloud Database option. Now, since I already have one set up, let me just jump to that one really quickly. So here is my AppSheet Cloud SQL database or data source that I've set up. And here I can just set the, uh, or I can go into the same options that I set up before. And I will type in a password, set the SSL node to required. I'll test the connection and we're good to go. So I'll click authorize access. Once the Cloud SQL data source has been added to your AppSheet account, you can start building apps with the following steps. First, create a new app and select start with your own data. Then set the app name and click choose your data. Then select the data source that you set up before for Cloud SQL. You'll then select a table or view from your Cloud SQL database. And that's it. AppSheet will generate an app for you based on your chosen Cloud SQL table or view. Okay, returning back to AppSheet, let's go ahead and create a new app based off of the data source that we set up. So I'll start with my own data and let's name this app projects. Oops. And I'll click choose your data and I'll specify the AppSheet Cloud SQL data source. And let's open up the tables and we can see that we have our tables that we've set up before. So I'll click on employees and that will generate a new app based off of that single table. Okay, so here's our app just for the single table. Um, but what we're going to do is now go back and add another table. So I'll click on new table. And again, I specify the same data source and I select projects and let's add the table. So now I have the two tables, but they're not yet linked. So to do that, let's open up the columns of the projects table. And I can see this employee ID column here is just of type number. I'm going to change that over to type ref. And then we can specify that this is a reference to the employees table. And that's it. So I'll click done and I'll click save. And so now the two tables are linked. So if I click on any one of these records or the employee records, that is, I can see that there are related projects for each one of these employees. All right, so pretty straightforward. So as you can see, it was pretty easy once we set up our data source to connect to the backend Cloud SQL database. This concludes the using Google Cloud SQL in AppSheet episode. Stay tuned for more coverage of this important capability in future episodes. And for more info on AppSheet, Google Cloud and Google Workspace, check out the links in the description below. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this series so you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching.